Today, we play Best of One. The only one in Best of One. What genius taxes? Ta-da! Euphoria! This is Standard. Hello and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB. Today in the arena, we are trying out Urborg Scavengers in a Rakdos Reanimator Atroxa shell. So Urborg Scavengers says when it enters the battlefield or attacks, you exile a card from a graveyard and put a plus one plus one counter on this card. It has flying as long as the exiled card has flying. The same is true for first strike, double strike, death touch, haste, hexproof, indestructible. Lifelink, Menace, Reach, Trample, and Vigilance. Kind of a meme of a card uh, in a way, but if you get the right cards in your graveyard, this thing can be explosive and dangerous. And I have some haste in the form of Olivia Crimson Bride and a bunch of other abilities in the form of Atroxa Grand Unifier, four copies. But the other thing is that you can scavenge from the opponent's graveyard. So with a lot of mono red in the format, I'm scavenging a lot of haste from them. You play the scavengers, you scavenge their haste creature, then you attack with your scavengers because it just gained haste, then you scavenge your own Atroxa to give it all the other abilities, and you smash! And you gain life, and mono red hates this. So we're going to see if it is worth having Urborg scavengers in a Rakdos Reanimator animator shell we have the good Rakdos cards to try to keep us from losing every single game let's dive in let the nonsense begin on the draw we'll see what happens I am so cynical but we will see what happens I'm a jaded gamer I just don't think anything's going to beat a single card deck isn't standard bitter reunion I'm discarding one of the scavengers because it's trash in this hand because we don't have the Atroxa game plan Just so you know, you can target the opponent's graveyard. It's often the right play when they're clearly doing graveyardy stuff. And shuffle their stuff back into their deck, at least they don't have it in their graveyard. Alright, just nothing happening here. Can't get it going. Goa, and I will protect my people. Let your blade do the talking. Um, hmm. I could get the witness the futures exiled completely, but obviously they're not playing a no win con deck. They're playing super friends. Okay, all good. Would you like to turn it into a treasure? Keep watch for intruders. You would. Okay, I got a treasure. Cruelty. Two, one, depopulate. Depopulate, you say. I think they're just going to depopulate, but we do draw a card because of the Harvester. Ready for more. But can we find Atroxa? That's all that matters. <laughs> Giving up their Emperor in that spot is always weird to me. Let's get cruel. Uh, yeah, they're a Planeswalker deck. They might have drawn one. 
Okay, they drew an edict. That's fine. Let's save the treasures because we could top deck an Atroxa at any time. This is not a deck that should play Witness the Future. Witness the Future is for decks with no win cons. The opponent clearly runs a lot of Planeswalkers. So this is not a Witness the Future pile. But some people just like that card. You can also use it as Graveyard Hate for the opponents, which I would recommend. All right, here's Atroxa. If they counter it, we still have Cruelty. We just get it back next turn. If they kill it, we get it back next turn. All right, so we need a land. We can take this one. Uh, might as well take this. Cut down. Actually, if we take a black source, we can cut down this samurai, right? And then bitter reunion, Atroxa, or Harvester. We got two Harvesters in hand already. All right, what gets discarded? What gets discarded? Honestly, it's Shieldred. It's just the easiest card to remove and give no get no value from. Everything else here has value. Including Brotherhood's End, in case they have some Planeswalkers they have to downtick. Yep. Wow, Invoke Despair is in there, too. Opponent's really living on a dream. Uh, we could... So we could just reanimate an Atroxa. I think it's okay to be patient, though. We have a bit of Reunion as well, so we could set up to get back a Scavenger that becomes an Atroxa with all the keywords and stuff. All right, Reunion, drop the cut down. Hopefully this also insulates from future Invoke Despair. Ooh, Scavengers. Nothing with haste. Yeah, I think it's still play Fable. Insulate from another Invoke Despair because you know they draw them in groups. Union. Man, it's like a win con deck and Super Friends had a baby over here. Let's see if they can pull it off. The Plaza. Don't think I want to give up the Plaza. Let's scavenge them a bit. We could gain keywords from our graveyard, but let's just take apart their their little uh, cycle of stuff here. Maybe they aren't as high on wing cons as I thought, and they drew all the planeswalkers in their deck. Then maybe taking it apart a little bit does help. Anyway, I'm ready for the Depopulate, because I played a Harvester. We want to pressure them into sweeping before Fable transforms. We also have the mana to recast an Atroxa if they commit to cleaning up this board. Sure. You think you get those back? You don't! They stay exiled. Passing? Okay, yeah, it does feel like they're really trying to save this board wipe. Fine with me. Interesting. Not sure what to make of that. Can definitely replay that for more value. I'm fine with that. Patience. Weird play in a deck without many things to get back. Kind of desperate. I like that. Desperate is uh, perfect. Scavengers again. Now I think I'll drop off the Brotherhood's End. See if we can hit a haste creature to finish it. Well, Bitter Reunion might help.
Royalty and a land. Scavenge? They've only got one card left. All right, which of these, when recurred, is the most obnoxious? I guess the farewell. Power up. They've, they've waited so long, it's time to do something. They did something, wow. All right. Um, Still no haste creature in the graveyard? Still no haste creature in the graveyard. I mean, there's only two of them, so it does make some sense. I could dig for it, but then I wouldn't have the mana to use it. All right, you're top decking. What you got? You're dead. <laughs> Worked. We we racked those to them to death. On the draw, but we've got the cut down. Cliffs to cliffs. We'll see if the scavengers can hold its weight in something like a mirror. Hmm. No artifact removal. Never mind. Game's over. Uh, harvest. Let's go. Opponents doing nothing. Fun. Probably because they want to hit the fable token, which is fine. Nope, no removal yet for the Fable token. That's really good for us. Means they probably have to spend this turn on it. They're gonna play Shield Red. Okay. Easy. Let's see if they know that they have to respond here. Um, give up these. I know it hurts. I know. I'm aware. See if they crew in response. They should. Yep. A scavenge. I have death touch. Such a dorky little creature to have death touch. The Crimson Bride! No land for it. Um, but let's drop it in the bin, I guess. Opponent might want to exile the reflection in response or kill it in response, but now we have Bitter on the field. Opponent's like, what's this? New card? Yeah! Maybe all they have here is activate Bankbuster. That wouldn't be bad for us. I fly. Down to 13. Already played our land. Could play out Harvester. Nope. Let's hold. Where are my Atraxas, though? The important part. Where is the card the deck is built around? Why is it so far away? Oh, there's one. Let's see if our opponent tries to reanimate it. Because I would love that right now. Oh, they're doing it. Okay, well, check this out. Do you see it? Do you see why my opponent is but a fool? I mean, maybe they're not. Maybe they have a cut down. If they have a cut down, then they're doing it, right? If they don't have a cut down, they get, they get got. <laughs> yes! 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 Gamer moment.
Do I want another one for more damage? I think so. Hit for life. Do your worst. Are you going to invoke some despair? <laughs> they are. Um, all right. We'll give you two cards. See if you can deal with the scavengers. They fly. They do have death touch. Of course you can't deal with that. Never drawn a go for the throw in your life, have you? Our opponent's name is Raging Goblin and they're at 84%. That's the most mono red thing I've ever seen. On the play though, maybe they're an imposter. Yeah, I was going to say, I never go first against Mono Red. It's literally impossible to do. So they're just faking. They're just faking it. I also never draw Brotherhood's End against Mono Red. Also impossible. So full imposter mode engaged. Opponent does not have a removal spell here. Weird. We do have Trespasser. Frustrating. I discard both. Is that good? <laughs> Let's find out. Maybe we'll draw the reanimator. Nope. Didn't get there. We do have this. Which allows for this. And this. And this. And ish? No, I, I'm just kidding. Now I'm just overdoing it. Obliterator! Okay, I need another blood token. Can I find one? I found scavengers. Scavengers is interesting. Become an attract. <laughs> Become a trespasser. Doesn't give any ability though. Yeah, I just need to give... I just need a turn with the reflection, and I'll be fine. Alright, go big. Behold my power. I think I might have to blood token away this Sokin's on. We'll see. Obviously not blocking here. Double oblit. Okay, I see you. The Crimson Bride, you say? You could play that right now. That's busted. Come on out. Get out. That's fun. Oh, baby. Down to one? Down to one? Down to one. I think they're in trouble. <laughs> I take it. <laughs> no blocks. Nice try. Not Olivia, huh? You don't wanna... No? Okay! <laughs> Wow. Uh, posing as mono red, not rewarded. Feels good. Uh, on the draw, we will keep. We will cut stuff down. And it will be great. We are going to do good old rack those things where our opponent tries to play magic and we stop them. Because we are mean. Like that. Just die. All your cool cards dead. Demolished. Demolished. 
Here's a harvester. What are you going to do about it? Uh-huh. And now when we kill that, what happens? Get back our harvester. It's wonderful. But first, we fable to keep the deck moving. We're not even in a rush. All right, they have convoked the Knight Errant of Eos while they can. And they get a Thalia and a Guardian, so they've got some creatures. Let's discard this Atroxa and the Scavengers? Yeah, we're actually reanimating Atroxa here, aren't we? Oh god, we are. What is, what's become of me? All we needed was the untapped land, and we got it. All right, this is who I am now. Raw. A Mirix, I, I guess we'll take the Veil. A cut down, because we have a go for the throat. We need cheaper. And then, uh, Olivia? Is Olivia good here? Okay. I mean, they're going to exile Atroxa if they do something about Atroxa, so we'll just take Shieldred. What you got? Adeline. You got it. Uh-huh. Do you want to convoke another one of these? That would be fine, too. <laughs> they got nothing. Oh, uh, they got nothing. Sad. Too, and they make it look too easy. Um, do we play another cruelty before? Nope. Let's just play Shieldred. Just really take hope away from them, and then also blow up their brutal Cathar, just when they were trying to hang in there, like they're trying to transform this Cathar. Nope. 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 Nope, not having it. Not having it. I'm Rakdos. I ain't got to give you nothing. Nothing. They're not quitting. It's impressive. Nothing. <laughs> oh, goodness. Just deciding whether or not I want to do even worse to them. There's the quad block. Here's the go for the throat. So all your creatures will die. Oh, hideous death. You even like them? You're treating them so badly. Discard a fable for the flex. Go up to 30 freaking eight. <laughs> Didn't need the scavengers there. That's just Rakdos attracts the things. That's all that is. On the draw, we keep. And it's blue. All right, cut down's not great against blue. Makes me nervous. Nope, blue white. Soldiers? Angels. Okay, well, cut down just got a lot better. I play the harvester? No way, right? You don't like Yada to do this. Not with two cut downs in hand. Don't fall for it. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Not a... Nope, not having it. Not having it. Gotta be responsible if you're on the draw against angels. Don't let them ramp out them big nasty flyers with extra counters. Informant, draw a discard. Discard Surge of Salvation, huh? That's scary. I could try to kill this. I don't think that's necessary. Let's just play a Shieldred and make them have an answer. Ossification, they have an answer. All right, well, we get to play a magic game. And they're aggressive? I mean, I'll race. 
I'm Rakdos. I can race stuff and things. Let's play the Fable. That makes racing a lot harder because we get a lot of advantage just from attacking. Another ossification makes sense. Target. My token. Okay. You want to keep racing? They do. Wow. All right. Draw Xander's Lounge. Don't need it. Let's drop it. Get another land. Feels bad, but it's fine. Let's start scavenging. It flies! Paragon. Do they have the land to cast this Giada? Not yet. But that's why they keep trying to trade with the informant. Officer. Officer, please. Transform. I guess we want the creatures that the uh, Paragon could get back, so we go for the second Giada first. Down to eight. Waiting one turn, and then we get to Reflection of Kiki this. And if we start copying Blood Tithe Harvester, is this game going to end fast? When it's going to dig with Recruitment Officer, don't think that will save them. Inspiring Overseer? And no plays. All right. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Writing's on the wall. We can either copy Harvester and pick off their creatures or copy our scavenger and just go airborne and beat them to death. And we are back for a quick post-game wrap. And this is a Rakdos deck, so it is good because it is a Rakdos deck. And you don't really need a package with Urborg Scavengers or Bitter Reunion to really make it do the thing. Although Bitter Reunion is probably underrated. I've found spots where it was good even without things like Scavengers or Olivia Crimson Bride involved. But the Rakdos cards just carry because they're busted. And we'll see if they survive another week in Standard or if they get banned. If you want a video video about my current feelings on the standard environment and aftermath and what it actually brought to the format. There's a video on Covert Go 2 that you can watch. Warning, I'm a little bit negative, so don't watch it if you can't, you know, can't handle the negativity. Uh, but here, yeah, reanimating Atroxa is good. Blood Tithe Harvester and Fable are really good. Shieldred is insane. Cruelty of Gix. Great card. So if you wanted a little spice and to try a new card, you can craft Urborg Scavengers and play this deck. It, however, I definitely don't think you need to. So when is this coming out? This one's coming out on Tuesday? Yeah, Tuesday. So I'm recording a pretty cool project that you guys will see in the near future on Tuesday. I think you'll really enjoy it. So I'm excited about that. Uh, no, I'm not giving you any hints. I just think uh, you're gonna like it. I've been trying to put myself out there and do more collabs, but not the type of like me playing against somebody else in usual Magic Arena formats, especially anything along the lines of standard, nothing too sweaty because uh, I just, I do not enjoy the sweaty standard at the moment. I'm very eager for bands. I would be really eager for rotation, but they canceled it. So that kind of weighs heavy on my heart, but I do continue to love Historic Brawl. I'm playing a Shieldred deck, uh, the five mana Shieldred, and that is uh, really fun. It's like a, a go big black ramp deck so you guys should check that out uh you might be able to find it on like my untapped um and maybe i'll make a video with it we'll see how the views go uh right now people still watch standard because they hate change um if i ever could get the historic brawl videos to get enough views that i felt good about it that's what i'd play every day it's way more fun but that's okay um, I am still about delivering what you guys expect of me and I'll keep doing my best. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. As always, I will see you in the next one. You're cool.